Hello, welcome back to part two of this video series. There's going to be many parts to this because three minutes is not quite long enough. And I apologize, but it is out of my control. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start off reading what I should have read on the first video, which is my main goal with what this video series is going to be about and try to explain. Um, with this video or videos, I would like to show that the Nibiru Dwarf Star event is really all about setting the stage for the return of the false gods and in the process provide the necessary cover for the cataclysms that are being created by the elites guided by the ancient ones which will be revealed as the aliens to affect a drastic reduction in world population. So, I don't know if I mentioned this, but for anybody that doesn't know that this elliptical orbit, which is the elliptical path of the planet Nibiru, which is a Sumerian term for one of the planets that orbits this binary st sun known as the Dwarf Star. So the Dwarf Star is like a sun, but it has planets also that revolve around it. Well, these Anunnaki, which literally means those from heaven to earth, they came. They claim that they come from this planet. So when I'm saying that this is being used to support the return of these ancient gods, which you are now being seen called as aliens, but very, very soon, my friends, you're going to see this alien be switched to gods. They have to break you in first, and then they're going to give it to you hard with this deception. And very shortly after their appearance, they will be calling them straight gods. So that's really what this note is supporting, is the return of the gods, the reorganization of the world, the destruction of the lineage of Christ, which would be the individual believers in Christ, and even possibly the destruction of Christ himself as they are putting this. Right now, I said that this is a lion, and you see that the head has been decapitated. This lion has a man's leg under it. This symbolizes the lion as the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. And if you're familiar, that is what Christ, that is the tribe that Christ would emerge from, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. And that's also one of his epitaphs, is the con that he is known as the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. We have a symbolism between Israel, or Israel here, the unicorn, and Judah. I'm going to have to go. I'll come back with a second video. Thanks for listening.